Finally, it's here. The Xiaomi 14 Archer versus Vivo X100 Pro that everybody has been asking for. And in this video, I will cover everything, every detail, like comparing the camera interface to portrait to zoom to everything you can think of. I promise this is going to be the most detailed comparison between the two. So definitely subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Now without further ado, let's get started. All right, so here is the interface of both. They look quite similar. After comparing them back and forth, I think Vivo edges out slightly due to its additional features. One feature I particularly like on Vivo is the jewel lens, which allows me to take a picture of anything and shows me the results all within seconds. Additionally, Vivo offers more features like food and landscaping, architecture, although I seldom try them. Most of the time, you just pick up your phone and snap a picture as fast as you can. Speaking of that, I like to compare the first feature on them, the quick capture feature, to see which one is better. Just for the record, for Vivo, it has the snapshot feature. Just switch to that and it should give you the fastest snap. But for Xiaomi, you may want to turn on the motion capture in the top left corner. Also, for Vivo, I found that if you press and hold the shutter button, it will take 20 pictures in a row and then show you the best one they think. Of course, you can choose to save all of them or the one you want. Well, for Xiaomi, when you press and hold, it starts recording. So which one is your favorite? Comment below. So let's test that to see who has the better quick capture capability? For this part, I think both did a fantastic job. Even though I moved so fast like Bruce Lee, both cameras captured all the photos without even a single blurry picture. That's amazing. The difference I notice is the color tooling or color style the two brands apply. In this case, Leica or Zeiss. Which one's your favorite? Let me know. With the quick capture feature, when you take pictures of your lovely keys, or like the other day, I went to shoot a dog product, and this is going to be very useful because keys and pets are fast moving and so unpredictable. And you have to know, capturing is much more important than capturing perfectly. Back to the standard picture shooting, not sure if you have noticed, most of the time, Xiaomi's pictures are unexposed, causing the picture to look less eye-pleasing and having less dynamic range. The same goes for net photos. Check them out. For this, some people may think that doesn't matter because it's the Leica style. And if you look at the picture separately, it might be fine. For 3.2 times, it may look the same at the first glance, but when zoomed in on the left building or the leaves at the bottom, there are definitely more details on the Xiaomi because Xiaomi supports original 3.2 times optic zoom, while Vivo's 3.2 times picture was digitally magnified from its main camera photos. Similarly, Vivo supports 4.3 times optic zoom in this focal range. Xiaomi's resolution capability cannot match Vivo's. For 5 times zoom, Xiaomi is optical, so clearly it has better resolution. More details when zoomed in. So from all these comparisons, we can learn something. Which is, I always suggest you use the camera's original focal length on the camera interface. Try to avoid zooming in manually whenever possible. Unless when you do the archer zoom. That's another thing. Speaking of that, Let's compare the pictures after 10 times zoom. For 10 times zoom, I wouldn't say that much difference. However, when the focal length is greater than 20 or 30, the Vivo camera can noticeably experience shaking, resulting in potentially blurry photos. So you might need to take a few more shots, whereas Xiaomi remains relatively stable. What's more, I think I don't even need to say anything. You know which will be better than the other after 30 times. Normally, Vivo performance is not bad in this range, but when compared to Xiaomi 14 Ultra, it seems to fall short by a lot. Yesterday, I posted the comparisons on my Twitter and YouTube community. Did you guess them right? The left is Vivo, 
The right is Xiaomi for all photos I posted. By the way, show some love to my Twitter. Give it a follow if you haven't already. However, it's another story night. If you compare at 60 times or even 100 and 120 times, also more night photos. You can check them out. Not porches. Well, well, for this part, what I found is that for Xiaomi 40 Ultra, it occasionally obvious overexposed some pictures. The Vivo sometimes does too, but very rarely. I understand the Xiaomi 40 Ultra just released, and there are lots of things to optimize. But yeah, that is what it is. Apart from those minor glitches, let's take a look at some of the portraits at the original portrait focal length. Both offer five focal lengths. Xiaomi has 23 millimeter. 35, 50, 75 millimeter, and one more 90 millimeter soft focus, which looks like this, kind of giving you a cinematic feeling. Vivo at 24, 35, 50, 85, and 100 millimeters. Let's compare at this original focal length. Here's what I found. Vivo definitely wins because it has more details. Check the hair on the dog's head. Xiaomi tends to have a softer quality, and if you zoom 10 times to shoot a portrait, it seems the Vivo performs even better. Just check out the details. The hair on the dog, Xiaomi becomes even softer. Out of curiosity, I compared 5 times optical zoom versus the original 100mm focal length of Vivo. Seems the match, and Xiaomi performs even better. After all, 5 times is optical zoom for Xiaomi. Lastly, here are some micro pictures. Both, I think, are excellent. And micros are micros. No need to compare them too much. So, overall for photo performance, if you just ask me who wins? Well, seems there's no definitive answer. I would say both are definitely at a flagship level. The major difference would be your preference over color tooling or some aspect you are focusing on. Like if you shoot lots of portraits, then I guess Vivo wins. But if you shoot a lot of telephotos for daylight, then Xiaomi outperforms. And definitely, there's no such huge difference between the two. Even though for each brand, when they release their products, they may use lots of gimmick words to sell their products or promote how badass it is. But at the end, not really. One may outperform in some scenarios, but not every. To choose a phone, you will have to consider other aspects like the screen, battery, software, etc. Now for video performance, we just reached the end and you can choose to watch as it's much easier for you to decide. And please don't forget to subscribe. It took me more than five days to make this video. I will keep doing this kind of comparison as well. Subscribe, please. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Okay. Stabilization test, 4K60. Let me know which one has better stabilization. All right, 4K30. So let's just check like the stabilization, everything, comparing, you know, everything. This is like a really, really dark environment. Not so much light, okay? And we just walk around a bit from what I see from the screen. Show me it looks a little bit better. You just check out the lights. Uh, for Vivo, it's just like got too much glare. Right? Too much glare. Show me it seems alright. So now let me just run a little bit. Oh. 
Okay. Which one has a better stabilization? Let me know. All right, so let's check out the quality. Let's check out, I don't know. Not so much, no big difference. Maybe Xiaomi looks a little bit more jittery. Cheaters allow? No, no, I cannot see. Yeah, show me definitely cheaters a little bit. You can just check out the light behind me. Right? Not that great. Uh, <laughs> guys, please subscribe. And this is the second video of the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. Oh! One thing I have to point out is that both have this kind of movie mode so both at f2.8 so you can see the background has that cool bokeh effect i <laughs> like that i super like it and so you can see the yeah, yeah actually it becomes much better because you see the light wolf is jitters a little bit uh, at night right but now when i blow it you can see uh, it actually feels a little bit better. Woo! I like it. We should all try this. We should all try this, okay? And uh, but Xiaomi looks a little bit overexposed from the light behind me, as you can see. Vivo looks a bit more natural, okay? And that's the movie mode, okay? I think everybody should try this because, but it only supports like 1080 30 though. So 1080 30 IPS. But anyway, let me run. Let's check out the stabilization. All right, 4K 60 FPS, the front camera. Okay, now the camera battle, the front camera battle that to me, not so many Chinese brands like supports 4K60. But anyway, here you go. From where I can see, Vivo seems not, the color seems a little bit oversaturated. For Xiaomi, it looks a little bit overexposed, but that is actually the sky color, the overcast color. Okay, uh, anyway. Yeah, Oppo seems a little bit, uh, no, I mean, Vivo seems a little bit uh, oversaturated. Okay, I'm walking now. Wow, I also turned on the enhanced voice on the Vivo, so the sound maybe may sound a little bit better, a little bit better. So I'm walking, so you can see the front camera. <laughs> all very very smooth oh good sky okay vivo has better dynamic range from what i see i can see more details in the sky you know but for xiaomi it seems not okay walk turn around a little bit okay that's the front camera Our cinematic video. Actually, I really like this feature because it gives you that kind of uh, cinematic feeling. <laughs> anyway, all right. So this is my cameraman, Nasleen. Okay, let me know if if it's good. All right, 4K 30 FPS zoom test. Okay, zoom test. All right. So this ultra wide. So definitely Xiaomi is much wider, I guess, right? Though one is like 0 0.6, one is 0 0.5, but like Xiaomi is much wider. Okay, first let's go to, okay, one, two, 3.2, 3.2. Okay, I wanna check 4.7, 5.5, and 10 times. I hear you the 10 times for the Vivo x100 pro and now go to xiaomi a1 okay 1.5 2 
three, five, wow, ten times, and now fifteen times. So if we both add ten, then I can see for Xiaomi more noise, definitely, but much clearer image, more details. For Vivo, it's like just everything just um, too soft, okay. But for Xiaomi, I can see very clear some details, even some uh, clothes, okay. And all right, and we can go to 15 times, okay. This is 15 times on Xiaomi 14 Ultra, 10 times on the Vivo X100 Pro, so you can see the difference. All right, zoom video. So this is the Ultra Wide for both cameras. Okay, for Vivo, let's go. One, two, three point three, three point two, three point seven four, four point. Wow, you can see the change the lens from four point two to. 4.3 you can see the change names and you just upgrade the everything right so there's 10 times this times and now let's go to ooh, Xiaomi 1.3 1.2 2.1 3.1 4.3 you see also the change the lens 3.2 and also 5.3 okay 5.6 Eight times, ten times, and this is. If we compare the ten times, then okay. This is ten times. Okay, this is ten times. But Xiaomi, Xiaomi looks much better, much better image quality, clear image, less noise, higher dynamic range. And this is 15 times. And 15 times. You mean at 15 times? I guess it's better than the Vivo. So, wow! For this part, definitely Xiaomi just wins. Okay, let's just uh, switch a little bit more. Yep, that is right. Let's move to this part. Let's see the highlighted part. Also this part. More details. Less noise. Okay, and yeah, that's it. 